So a lot of people have this really strange idea that there are few things in the world more romantic than sleeping out under the stars in the woods at night. Ah, yes, very nice, of course, with the crackling of a fire, the two lovers embraced in each other's arms, that sort of thing. Yes, it's very nice in the storybooks. Actually sleeping outside, as it turns out, not so much fun. You see, while you may go outside in the evenings and think to yourself, Oh, well, this is quite a temperate night. There's, uh, you know, that little bit of humidity in the air. It's, it's rather warm. You know, the fireflies are out. And, uh, you, I can see myself, yeah, laying down here and falling asleep for the night. That actually sounds really quite nice. Contented, peaceful, romantic in so many ways. Yes, well, that's what I thought last night. Not so much the romantic, because it's... Well, not so much romantic, but, um, you know, contented, nice, peaceful. That's what I thought when I laid down last night to fall asleep here in this, uh, this little old tent. Actually, uh, quite a large tent. Uh, historically, many, many, many soldiers would be sharing this among themselves, but, uh, well, I have it for just me. Um, see, I, I have my, I have my blanket roll here, my blanket roll blanket, and I was gonna sleep on top of this. I used my, uh, regimental coat as a, uh, as a pillow for myself. Uh, wrapped a little, my, uh, waistcoat around that, because it's lined with linen on the inside, so it's a nice, uh, soft pillow there, and, uh, yes, I was, I was prepared for quite a nice night falling asleep to the sounds of, uh, unfortunately, this event's, uh, highway in the distance. Um, that was not actually the case. When you're laying down, of course, when you're not moving, when the blood isn't flowing, things tend to get a little chillier for you. It tends to be uh, more susceptible to that colder weather. And of course, what's more is while, yes, the late night may be really nice, temperate, and, uh, you know, a nice, uh, somewhat cooling, but overall very pleasant, the early mornings have a tendency to drop quite a great deal. While last night was, I think, upper 60s, like lower 70s, something like that. So perfect temperature falling asleep as far as I'm concerned, that low, low 70s area. Uh, about 4, 5, 6 a.m. this morning, the uh, temperature dropped down to the low 60s, about 62 degrees Fahrenheit or thereabouts, I do believe. And uh, that, my friends, I realized rather quickly, is deeply unpleasant. Laying still on the ground, you know, on the cold, cold ground, as it were, and um, with nothing to actually cover you up. Uh, what I actually had to do is, um, you know, laying on top of my blanket roll blanket here. So no matter which way I lay, either my head was on the cold, wet ground, which I didn't want to do, um, or rather regimentals were, which I want to avoid that too. But uh, I was sleeping sort of perpendicular, so that way it could reach the entire length. Um, if I wasn't sleeping, per like, uh, not perpendicular, but angular on the blanket, then my feet would be dangling off the side, which I want to avoid that if I can at all. Uh, so I laid sort of sideways on it, and I had to flip the, the corners over, which means that my chest was mostly covered, but um, my legs were all completely exposed as well with those, uh, those woolen stockings. They're really uh, nice, quite, uh, nice and quite warm, but uh, they're not, uh, not all that good when it's the only thing prevent pre between you and 62 degrees uh, outside. Uh, the tents as well, you know, they retain a little bit of heat, but... Uh, not so much as you may expect. So, uh, yes indeed. I got through the night, of course. It, it was quite alright in the end. It was just a bit uncomfortable having to really, ooh, you know, um, hold my body close to myself last night and get as little, as much blanket cover as I could, limited as it was. And, uh, oh, I get to do the same thing tonight, but all in the name of, uh, authentic misery, if you will. But yeah, I figured it'd be fun to, uh, just lay down here for a little bit and give you that little spiel. Sleeping outside, under the stars. Oh, it sounds like a wonderful idea. Don't do it. It's not, it's not a good idea. She's gonna ask you to go back to the car, drive over to a hotel. Don't do it. It's not a good idea. It's not romantic at all. Unless, I, unless that's your kind of thing, is the suffering and being miserable and cold. I won't judge. That's all on you. But in any case, silly me. This is what happens when I'm so tired after an event. Of course, until the next time, my dear viewer, I am, and I shall remain your most humble and obedient of servants.